Welcome back, everyone. My name is Eltamar, and we are going to be continuing our Let's Play of Diablo 3, where we left off last time. We, uh, got to the high heavens. It looks like Diablo did a bit of a number to it, and we're gonna go talk to Tyrael Imperius. and Imperius. You cannot mean to face Diablo again. Your wounds are barely healed. The heavens burn. This is your fault, Tyrael. And you, Nephilim, look below and see what your kind has wrought. My bad. How he feels, but we have to keep going. The diamond gates have stood since the light first broke over the high heavens. Now they lie in ruins. Imperius is right. I am the cause of this. Diablo did this, not you. You did everything in your power to prevent this devastation. Long ago, my brethren and I voted to decide the fate of man. I cast the final vote that spared you from extinction. Now humanity has birthed the prime evil. Tyrio, you believed in us. You became one of us. Now you must live as a mortal and surrender your fears to hope. Stay here and wallow in your misery if you like, but I'm going on. But you don't understand. Hope has been silenced. He means literally hope, the angel of hope. Gaze upon the destruction I have wrought. It will be the last thing you see. It's got to destroy the Nephilim. Hi, demon. I do not fear you, Nephilim. You find only death in this eternal realm. Everyone says that. Literally every demon. They're very... You know, predictable. The armies of hell will trample your corpses. The well then, you look like you're taking a lot of damage there, Iskatu. Oh, he ran away. Of course he did. He's a coward. Come back and fight me. There he is. Nope, that's just another demon swarm. There he is. Let's get into the, the proper range here. And he vanished again. Oh, there he is. Of course I... Dude, do you know you're almost dead? The writing in this story is so stupidly predictable. It's like, oh, this person will kill you. Oh, I didn't need them to kill you, only delay you. That's what every demon has said so far, every single time we fought one of their lieutenants. Hello, Ethereal. I am Ethereal, Archangel of Fate. It is my duty to record what is and what will be within the scroll of fate. But you, Nephilim, you are not in the scroll. Your fate is unwritten. Then I shall write my destiny in Diablo's blood. You can watch all of creation burn, or you can help me now. Perhaps fate can be changed. Quickly then, Ariel, Archangel of Hope, has been captured by Raganoth, the Lord of Despair. I will free her, and then Hope will be restored to the heavens. Anyone else find it kind of dumb that they actually, like, make their emotions into actual angels? That seems silly. What if the Angel of Hope didn't just get captured? What if she got killed? Can you make a new Hope Angel? I got a blessing. There's Armadon here. Oh. Okay. Many enemies have just decided to appear, so we're just going to kill them all. Didn't see that coming, did you? Pretty easily, actually. And we're almost... I think it's this way to the Archangel. We're going to be exploring all the areas, but I think we have to go piecemeal through it, because otherwise there's... Uh, 
these wall things will block our path until we can get through. I am released from my suffering. Yeah, you do you. That angel just died. I'm so good, I astound myself. So we got some champion mobs behind us. Oh, they have terror. But they also health links, so they're all gonna die like right now. An incredible feat. We also gotta watch our inventory space. This is not Grim Dawn where we can fight for eight years before filling up. Ooh. The Angiris Council is comprised of the five Archangels who hold dominion over the High Heavens. They determine the laws by which all Angels must abide. Each of them embodies a pure aspect of creation. Valor. Justice. Hope. Fate. And Wisdom. Wisdom goes a little bit haywire. Anyways, we're in the right place to kill this Arachnoth and get the Angel of Hope back. Also, one of the coolest bosses. Free from the chains of fate, Nephilim, but all will kneel before Lord Diablo. Not a lot of ambition in this guy. Only Lord Diablo. You don't want to like throw your hat in the ring either. Need more arcane power. We ran out of arcane power before we killed him, but now he's dead. That was super easy. Let's get her back. My armies flow through the hill rifts. Heaven will be destroyed long before you set one foot into the silver spire. Sure, sure. Thank you, Nephilim. I hoped the scroll of fate was wrong, that harmony would once again fill this troubled realm. I see now that all hope lies in you. You can Cobains. no longer be bound by the chains of fate. With my blessing, you can now dispel Diablo's corruption. It hides the rifts which bring his cursed servants to this hallowed place. The rifts must be closed. It would be an honor, my lady. Diablo oh. sought to bring despair down upon heaven, but I have destroyed his champion and restored hope. I thought this would bring Tyrael back to his senses, but he remains lost. Nevertheless, I must push on and eradicate Diablo's hellish portals. They added a lot of these really cool draw things into the game, which I do like. I think it's cool. I didn't actually expect to, like... Alright. Get into a cutscene there. Let's go this way. We'll just explore the rest of this bottom level. Not that it's particularly valuable. Oh, I mean... Okay, so we're gonna go through these areas anyways. Wait, there's creatures that pop out. Still waiting. And just gonna do that. Get some arcane dust. I mean, maybe. It's distinctly possible. Hey, there's a random angel that showed up. So we can go through the hell rift. We're supposed to go in there and do the thingy that we're, you know, the quest. But we're gonna quickly look around, explore, you know, do the exploration thing. And then we'll go from there. Not ready yet. Let me teleport. It's so much faster than walking. Unstoppable. 
Although it's not looking good for like cool things to find. We're getting some experience though. We're level 63. We're seven levels away from max level. We already have uncovered the portal, so like it's not like we're gonna find anything over here. Except maybe like a book to read, which would be nice. But it's no dice. I'm unstoppable. So we're gonna go back to that portal that we needed to find, and then we're gonna go through it. These angels have become need more time. Heaven is very linear in terms of its areas. Like there's not a whole lot of branching paths or like weird library things to enter. I think there's a couple, but it's not nearly like Act 1 or even Act 2. As the game progresses through Act 1 and 2 and into 3 and 4, no, we went the wrong way. Um, there's less and less side areas. They definitely seem to have front-loaded the game a little bit and then sort of streamlined the ending. Which I guess kind of makes sense. There's more of a sense of urgency to see this demon again. in the you later parts of the game. Me? Like, in the beginning of the game, you don't really know who your enemy is. You fight the Butcher, who's your end boss, which is I don't have enough a relatively minor demon, all things considered. And then in Act 2, you fight Belial, which is a major demon, but not particularly hard to kill. And that's got a little bit more urgency. And then in 3, you're going for Asmodan, and that's a pretty Jim urgent Jim thing. Is. The Archangel of Valor is the greatest warrior in all of creation. My bags are full. He revels in war and combat, and has led the hosts of heaven to innumerable victories. With Malthael's absence, it is Imperius who now rules over the Angiris Council, seeking all to defend the high heavens from any foe. Turning to town. All right, so we're gonna head back to town really quickly and sell some stuff or get rid of some stuff. It actually brings us back to Act Three, I believe. Yeah, we go back to Bastion's Keep. Uh, wrong way. So, yeah, that's sort of how the the game is streamlined. It makes sense. It's not my favorite way of doing things because I like to explore. In later parts of games, but here we are. All right, let's go do this thing. If you destroy the Oculus, my hell with will consume. Well done, Neville. Diablo's vile minions can no longer use this rift to find their way into the Silver City. Now only one rift remains. Thank you for letting me go free. That is not the only hell rift. The flow of my legions will not stop. We're on the Garden of Hope, level two. I draw close. Oh my god, this is the first one to be found. You are too late, just as you always have been. I don't think Blizzard understands that constantly shoving the enemy in your face with their little like useless yet. blurbs doesn't build any source of, like any sense of fear of that enemy. It's like a, it's like a ten year old child who's like, I'm gonna beat you up and then he sends like his older brother at you and you beat that guy up and he's like, I'm gonna send this other person at you. I didn't need that person and you're like in the end it's just idle taunts from basically a child, and you're like, who cares? It doesn't build any atmosphere. It doesn't make me want to hunt down Diablo, other than to make him shut up. Need more time. Because he's annoying. That's it. That's really. The, it's not a fear thing. It's not like a, the fate of the world depends on me killing Diablo because he's this big bad. It's so good. Diablo has become like a shit talker. And it just you want him to shut up, and that's the only thing. It's kind of disappointing, actually, because Diablo and Diablo One and even Two were much scarier. Diablo has like two voice lines in Diablo Two. It's like not even death can save you from me. I can't think of another line he actually says offhand. Oh yeah, off. No, that's the butcher. No, uh... 
Nope, just just that. Just not even death can save you. That's the only thing I can think of. And that's the only line he needs. He's a demon lord. That's just my thought, though. Maybe I'm wrong. It's like they felt they needed to make the voice actor do a lot of lines. I mean, it's a good voice actor. There's nothing wrong with the actual voice of Diablo. It's actually a, it's a, it would be a terrifying voice if it said, you know, useful things or it's things that were actually legitimately scary or invoked any sort of emotion other than vague annoyance. Not ready yet. <laughs> Your grave awaits. Reflecting damage is never fun. Well, it seems to be going pretty well. Molten, maybe no, there's a real one. Let's grab all that junk. I know we know where the portal is, I'm just exploring. Because why not? It's not like there's going to be a whole lot of Still videos waiting. in the high heavens anyways, because this place is very short comparatively to the rest of the game. We can go down to the Holy Sanctum. I guess that's a place. Maybe there's books down here. Let's break all of their lovely vases. Oh, I might as well break the last of them just in case. Alright, let's move on this way. A new event. Reach the final platform. I see. I don't know what the final platform is, so I'm just gonna keep try oh, let's go this one. It's over there, I see. I'm unstoppable. No, I wanna go this one. Okay. We're close. There we go. That's the final platform there, I think. Well, that was kind of cool. I actually enjoyed that. We're fighting something called Zlolol. It's really not hitting us all that hard. It's a reincarnating horror. Apparently didn't reincarnate that much because it just died, but whatever. Cool. Neat little area. Well, that was kind of a cool little side quest area. I only have actually seen that one before. That must be Not one I've yet. either missed a bunch of times, or just never did before. Nice. I liked it. We're level 64 now. Uh, we're gonna go just explore this side over here, and then we'll go back to the portal area. How much gold do we got? We got 600 grand, Need which isn't tally. all that much. If we manage to hit level 70 before the end of the game, I may go I'm on to Yachnos and buy some of the items myself. we need for like the build we want to do. Just to sort of see how it goes, how it performs on Torment. But if we don't hit max level by the end of the game, which I highly doubt, because we're already pretty close. Okay. I need arcane power. I like how I killed it while I was frozen. Another Death of Breath, which is always nice to find. That angel's really going to town. I don't foresee it winning, but, you know, it's there, doing things. Better than Tyriel being a whiny baby child. The Sakellum of Virtue. Still waiting. What's this one? Or maybe it's to sell them? I don't know. Blowing up all the vases. It's a fairly small area. There's the boss, or what passes for a boss in this place. Need more arcane power. Put them all to blow up. Or at least close enough. So, the Lord of Terror has returned once again. Of all the evils, he is the most resilient. 
others of our world have defeated him. We too have the power to be victorious. Need more time. Alright, well, that was cool. Not particularly long or exciting, but it was niftier than just normal fights, I guess. Because it was a special little area. I'm just warming up. We found a fountain, a blessing fountain. This should be the regeneration all the time. This increased regeneration that we have. How does that feel? Ugh, the worst one. It's doing a lot of damage though, all things considered. Alright, let's freeze those guys, get a thingy down there to burn them all up, and then we'll just stand here and shoot frozen- oh, we got portaled in. Not that it matters, they're all basically dead anyways now. Grab the loot, nothing of value really, and let's get out of here. Also, is anyone else getting like a vast amount of like tax calls to be like it's a robot voice every time so you know it's fake but it's like you have to pay your taxes if you don't we'll send the police after you I miss the scam calls that had real people because I'd always ask them to send the police I'm like just do it go for it if you're the IRS or I guess in CRA in Canada but whatever you then you know where I live you send the police over I'm, I'll be here I'm not going anywhere today please feel free Send the police. I'm, I'm ready. Surprisingly, they usually just hang up on you at that point. Go figure, they don't actually send the police. We are definitely gonna have max level before the end of this. We're 64. Oh, ah, it's not worth going back for. Whatever. We saved a bunch of angels. They're just kind of standing around with their dicks in their hands, not doing anything. Because angels, like demons in this game, are kind of worthless. This is the type of game where you're, uh, what's the, it's called something, it's like the, it's not a hero's journey, but it's like, the hero solves all the problems because no one else is capable of doing it, because they're all useless. That's the type of game this is. It's like a form of hero's quest, but like, in a world where everyone is just utterly incompetent, except for the hero. Still waiting. Which is fine. You can absolutely be the hero. And there's that door we needed to go down. We're gonna go do that very shortly. We have one little path left to go down here. Not ready yet. With a demon or two, apparently. Kill all those guys. Nothing here. No, just a couple demons. Okay. I guess we're gonna leave then. Time to go blow up this other rift, Oculus. Need more time. By the light, I never wanted to see this demon squalor again. Why? Didn't it's not that bad that in here. Coming, did you? Realistically, we're not taking any damage. It's not like it's hard to kill all these things. We're basically just mowing our way through the armies of hell. Unlike Torment 8 or 9, this becomes actually a challenge because the Your swingy dudes that we're going to meet up ancient. with shortly actually do a fair amount of damage if they club you with their weird hammer hands. But other than feel? that, this place is a joke. Everybody dies. We just got 57 kills. Hey, there's some I need teleporting dudes here. 71 kills. We need to keep our... Oh, we lost. No, we're, we're still good. 81. Okay, we're good. We have our thing up. 83. Nice. Alright, there we go. Stories about that for a while. That's a good amount of experience. Alright, there's a the hammer dude. Sledge. On Torment 8 or 9, he actually hits pretty hard, or maybe it's more than that? I don't remember. I don't have enough arcane power. 
That's being said to be Shut up. The hell rifts are closed. You have far exceeded my expectations, Nephilim. But there is not a moment to waste. Quickly, you must make your way to the Silver Spire. Okay, do you want to toss up that portal? Thank you. The hell rifts are closed, but it is of no matter. Of course Soon not. There will be nothing left of these high heavens. All creation will be the realm of terror. It is possible we may have killed all the things and we don't have a portal. Let's go find the crystal Still colonnade. Waiting. It's gotta be in one of these zones. Good zone this one. Maybe? You got that one, right? Okay. Not ready yet. We'll just go look around. It's on the weapon rack. Royal Mace. Some of those white items can be enchanted or like upgraded. I don't really know how to time. describe it, but you can turn them into better weapons using your skills. And I'm sure some people are like, I needed that white. I've been looking for it for a while to build my whatever item. I know because I used to do that too, and I was desperately trying to find certain items so I could make Still better waiting. version of the item. Anything down here? You want me a portal? Nope. Alright, moving on. Could be down at the other end, I guess. It's definitely not in there. It's possibly on... Well, I mean, it pretty much has to be on one of these two areas. Yeah, there it is. Not ready yet. So we would have come this way anyways, and luckily we did get that money that I left behind earlier. You guys have got this, angels. You're fine. Sup, Tyriel? I want to talk to Tyriel. Go away, demon. I'm busy. Tyriel. Yes, my friend. I am ready to again fight by your side. I was wrong to give in to despair. You have shown me there is still a chance for victory. But we must hurry. Even now, Diablo makes his way to the Silver Spire. I finally understand. Your kind faces death and darkness every day. Yet still you find the courage to move forward. It is an honor to be one of you. Okay. Thanks. Daryl, that's cool. Alright, let's take a look at our new found gear. Is anything even remotely good? Uh, yeah, some pants that are slightly better than what we're using, I guess. One thing that this game always has... You know, we're stuck. Good job on your... One kill. We could help them, you know? We don't have to stand here and let them die. Oh, there's Imperius. You! Your kind does not belong here! If I see you again... You will die. Hey, we're backed up by two angels too, you know. Pay him no mind. This is your fight, Nephilim. Your power is even greater than Tyrion foresaw. One can only hope. But now, we must stop Diablo before... Before he reaches the crystal arch above us. Diablo will corrupt the Crystal Arch atop the Silver Spire, unless he is stopped. Should he succeed, heaven will fall. Everything has led to this moment. Tyriel and I will fight our way to the summit, where I will finally face Diablo. The darkness grows around us. Though I forsook my home, to see it again like this, any joy I might have had is replaced with sorrow. How does it feel, knowing you helped me become Pretty good. divine evil? For all your mighty deeds, all you really accomplished was unleashing me upon the world. Some savior you are, Nephilim. Whatever, I'm good with it. Leah, wait! Alright, so we are going to end the video here. We're at... Oh. We're fighting a demon. Aspect of Terror, let's kill it. And then we'll call it a video. We'll continue on right from here, so it's not like we're going to be missing out on anything. 
We also killed the Aspect of Terror really easily. Alright, so we'll leave here. Like always, if you have any suggestions or comments, please leave them below. Otherwise, we'll see you next time. Take care.